What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today I want to give a quick preview to the Halo Season 4 update that was just dropped by 343 in their community Discord chat. Now, in this video, I want to kind of give my good and bad feelings about this Season 4 preview just because I'm going to give a full review when this does drop. But I feel like there are some big news topics that were discussed earlier today. And I feel like I do want to just give my overall feedback of what I think about them. So let's just jump right into it. So firstly, if I'm thinking about the good things that I saw in this update preview, I honestly think that finally getting to see Infection going to be dropped on day one of season four is a great thing to see. Now, granted, I think I do need to give kind of my little like nugget of information. This should have been dropped on day one. But if you're going to finally give us Infection, then I'm still going to be happy that we are getting this. Because overall, Infection is one of those game modes that brings a lot of attention, a lot of fun to Halo in general, because essentially it was almost really the game that created this game mode entirely for a lot of other multiplayer games who have ha now had it a staple, a part of their franchise. Infection, obviously following in Eratus, infecting all the different Spartans. I really like the different design of the cover art here, as well as I think the fact that this entire first part of season four is going to mirror this theme with infection and i think it's gonna be really cool also another major thing that was going to be dropped to start of season four was the progression system and i think this is probably one of the biggest things that i think a lot of fans are really hyped about mainly because it kind of showed off a lot of these leaked images it kind of gives people 270 different ranks that you could obtain while playing halo infinite now granted there are some people out there saying hey i've been playing halo infinite this whole time and now i'm going to start off at rank zero my opinion get over it i've been playing halo infinite since day one as well i think at the end of the day this is a good thing for those fans who have been playing this whole time to say hey listen you can now grind out this this leveling system and now you can show everybody how much you're going to progress and kind of have a little bit of a staple of saying hey i am a general rank two in platinum and I earned that by playing the game. Other side notes is they kind of mentioned that there is also going to be a sort of commendation system. They have not really released any sort of exact challenges that you can earn and what are going to be the rewards with them. But based on a lot of things that Sketch and other people have said, that it seems as though there are going to be challenges based around different things that you do in the game, which do give you rewards, which honestly, if they bring back that system from Halo Reach, then that's only going to be a positive from here. The other major thing I saw that was a very interesting little tidbit was about the cross core premium armor sets, which means that basically it looks like 343 is going to be making future armor coatings and armor pieces that will be cross core in season four. And I think this is a big deal because it finally gets people to get to that cross core feeling where you can now have a different core. You can pick different armor pieces from all across all branches. And now it feels as if you open up your customization. The downside of this is that it seems as though they might not be doing this for all the different armor pieces. It might just be like a, yes, we screwed up on a lot of armor pieces. Let's now move on and let's do future armors to be on all cores instead of it just being a limited amount. Obviously, you can also be dropping with maps like Forest and Scar. They both look pretty cool, different, diverse with their kind of terrains. So I think that those both maps would be very interesting. One is Arena, which is Forest, and the Scar is going to be a big team battle map. Now, with the good, we do have to talk about the bad. And overall, I think one of the biggest issues I've seen right off the gate was obviously the, the kind of the fear that everyone knew was true, that there was no such development into things like playable elites or assassinations. I feel like at this point in time, but we kind of saw that there was the cuts happening at three for three, as well as the kind of the stalemate or the slow pacing of these seasons early on that things like playable elites, which yes, they used to be a kind of a core function that were in the game from Halo two and Halo three and in certain game modes and like invasion and Halo reach, but they have not been a part of the game since then. So I, I really didn't think that three for three would have taken the time to really embed playable elites at, especially at this point. And they kind of confirmed that the same thing when it comes to assassinations, I think assassinations kind of is a more of a big deal to people because it was in the previous game. It looks like three for three is trying to make this more along the competitive lines for ranked gameplay. And obviously assassinations do decrease that or derail a lot of that competitive nature that comes with Halo Infinite already. Now, I do wish they still had them because I did like to use them in certain cases. But the fact that they have now really declared that we are not in development of, of assassinations in a Halo Infinite just kind of says, yes, you know, we're moving on. We're, we're really focusing on other stuff. It's a obviously a, the right move at this point. 
but it's still a bad thing to see that they officially have now declared we're not even going to touch that issue. And I think the last thing I'll mention is going to be about Plaza. The remake from the Halo 5 map is not really going to be dropping right off the gate in Season 4, which I honestly am really disappointed about. Plaza is not necessarily one of the greatest maps out there, but it was a pretty solid map that was in Halo 5, and the remake looks pretty cool. It looks pretty much done based on the art design and, and kind of the textures that we see from a lot of the still images so far. These are still images, right? They aren't the actual map. We haven't got to see any gameplay of it. So we want to make sure that this map is not broken before it's released. But it is unfortunate because we've heard that this map was in development for a while and it was supposed to drop during season three, but it looks like it's been delayed, not even at the start of season four, but it says early on in season four. So overall, what do I kind of take away from this kind of quick preview that was dropped by 343? Three three? The good thing, the upside is that you're going to get some more game modes. Infection is finally going to arrive in Halo Infinite, and it's going to be a game mode that gets a lot of people hyped. It, Halo was trending on Twitter because of how much people were discussing about Halo Infinite getting content now. And that is a good thing to see, especially with things like progression that a lot of people have been asking, hey, I want something to grind for that's not just the season pass because eventually you kind of destroy this the whole progression system. You kind of beat the season pass pretty early on in that entire life cycle. So you want to have something in the background that you can kind of strive for. And a progression system does give you that 270 levels to go through. Sounds like a lot. It's actually more than Halo 5 or any other progression system that we've had. Now, I do want to see how much points you need to earn to move up in ranks because that can really give you a sign of how long this might be. If it's longer than Halo 5, then you'll be playing this for a long time. If it's not, then you might go through this pretty quickly, and that means that all they need to do is add more ranks when they continue these seasons. The downside is that a lot of things that Halo fans were really looking forward to or had hopes that would drop in Halo Infinite at some point, like playable elites or the, the fact that assassinations being included in the game are now being really kind of ended, right? And, and now granted, I don't know if this will end these things in the future when it comes to the next Halo installment, but it tells you that for Halo Infinite, they are not arriving. And obviously that's going to be a sore mark for a lot of people. But at the end of the day, it seems like it's one of those things that, yes, we would like to have it in the game, but we aren't. So we kind of have to, yes, this sucks. We have to move on. But I would also say that this is obviously a kind of a good thing to see overall when you think about just a preview like this, because it does kind of give us an idea of what we are expecting arriving in season four. I mean, I think that 343 needs all the good press as much as possible. Season four seems like it's going to be a pretty solid season when it comes to content with maps, modes, and things to do overall. And obviously, Halo needs a lot of these wins. They need a lot of dubs because at the end of the day, they started out their entire game, the whole life cycle of Halo Infinite in a really crappy state. When you really think about the first full year of Halo Infinite, it has been utterly dragging along. And now you start to see things like the winter update, which gave some life Season three, giving a lot of good things overall. Season four needs to be that continuation. You can't have moments where you have a downturn. You need to constantly have wins because Halo Infinite has not had a lot of wins lately. And if they continue this piecing or this trend upwards, then it's only going to help the game continue. And obviously, when the next game installment comes, you'll have your fan base feel more like they can trust 3 for 3 or whichever company is working with 3 for 3 in developing the next Halo game. So season four preview, I think, has some good things to be seen, good things to play. We'll have to see when it finally drops. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about the Halo Season 4 preview? I want you to tell me what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. You can join us all of our socials and Twitch located in the description below. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.